and to the bureaucracy, to this state, I will not be silenced and I will not submit to this breach of my natural rights. I have pledged my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor to defend liberty like our founding fathers did. We will not be silenced. We will not comply. The September 25th event is occurring. Thank you for joining me. Please share this message everywhere. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel for the first time uh, This video isn't one of my typical videos, but I did want to put it out and I need to get it out pretty quick uh, Because it's about something that's coming up this Saturday the 25th of September uh, so this is a call to action if you are in the uh, Spokane area in Washington the Spokane County area in the region at all in the Pacific Northwest and you can make it to Spokane this weekend uh, I would encourage you to come. There is a rally. I'm going to put the flyer up on the screen right now uh, at Riverfront Park in downtown Spokane at the Clock Tower. Uh, it's put on by the same guy, uh, Caleb Collier, who did the uh, End the Mandates rally here in Spokane a little over a month ago that I covered. I'll put a link uh, to those videos as well as any other of the sources and the video from, Col uh, from Caleb that I'm going to share here in just a second. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this call to action is Caleb was contacted by Riverfront Park, uh, which is part of the city of Spokane, and they basically sent him a, an intimidation notice telling him not to have his event. Well, it's not an event. This is a gathering of a community, people who are fed up with these mandates and being told what to do by people who live hundreds of miles away, and then having people here enforce those mandates and telling us, oh, it's not me, it's the guy, it's the king over there, when the king is sitting on his throne, and it's these people here in our community who are getting paid with stolen money to do these bad deeds and come extort money like this. Uh, so I'm just going to play the video that uh, Caleb, he put this out, I think it was last Wednesday or Thursday after he got the message from Riverfront Park. So I'm just gonna play that and you can hear what they have to say to him. And then I'm gonna continue with my message. This is Caleb Collier with Church and State and Understanding the Threat. I am coming to you with a very important message regarding the rally on September 25th. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, please attend the rally September 25th in Spokane, Washington. It's 10 a.m. It is at the clock tower, but I just received a message, a message that is designed to spread fear, that is designed to scare me into submission, and is designed to disrupt this incredible event. I received a email from Riverfront Park uh, Guest Services from the bureaucracy of the city, and it says this, Hello, it has come to our attention that you intend to host a freedom of speech activity rally for health freedom in River Park Clock Tower Meadow on Saturday, September 25th. Riverfront Park welcomes free speech activities in our park under the guidelines stated on our website here. A freedom of speech event does not require a permit. However, you will not be able to do the following. Number one, plug into any power outlets. Number two, drive into the park. Includes vendor setup, vehicles, food trucks, etc. Number three, set up canopies, tents, stages, vendors. Number four, no event and maintenance support provided. Please be advised that live entertainment, vendors, and recreational activities associated with your event fall under our public event guidelines also stated on our website here. As stated per our policy, an event such as the one you are planning has a 30-day lead time in order to acquire the proper permits. And if any vendor that is associated with your event must be a part of our qualified vendor program in order to enter the park. More information on vendors can be found here. Any event hosted at Riverfront Park must also follow all of the current state mandates and safety protocols provided by the Spokane Regional Health District and the Spokane Fire Department. This means events over 500 attendees must wear masks, and any event with 1,000 attendees or more must have one certified crowd manager per 250 people. Please let us know if you have any questions. However, at this time, your event in its current form is not permitted at Riverfront Park. Regards. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is not being canceled. This is our park. We paid millions of dollars for this park. 
It is the Citizens Park. They cannot suppress free speech. They will not silence those of us that are pushing back against any type of vaccine mandates. We will not be wearing masks. We will continue to celebrate freedom in America, which is the country that we still live in. So what you heard there was they said, it's okay to have a free speech event in the park without having a permit. But if you wanna actually do anything, you can't. Uh, so I don't, I don't know who they think they are saying that people can't put up tents or canopies in the park or people can't play music. If you know anything about me, you know that I don't believe in, in any form of government anymore at all. Uh, but I at least was raised to believe that we lived in a free country in the United States. But clearly, if you haven't been paying attention, that is not true. So I'm inviting everybody that comes down to the park this weekend. And if you're in the area, please come down to the park. Bring anything you can. Bring a harmonica, bring a guitar, bring two sticks and beat them together to make live music. Bring a tent, bring a canopy, bring a volleyball net, bring a badminton net and set them up in the park. You can set them up by the clock tower where the rest of us are gonna be gathering or you can set them up anywhere in the park. I really don't care. The point is to tell these people who think they have authority over our lives, we aren't doing anything to anyone else. We aren't hurting anyone. We're not damaging or stealing anyone else's property, and we should be left alone. They are the ones who are violating the non-aggression principle and threatening us with extortion and confinement to cages if we don't follow these arbitrary rules set by someone who lives hundreds of miles away and across a mountain range. That's completely insane. It's time to stand up and live free, people. Join me in the park this weekend. Come and make some music. Bring some food to share with your neighbors. Bring a volleyball net, bring a canopy, bring a tent. I don't really care. Just don't hurt anyone. Don't damage or steal anyone else's property. Don't defraud anyone. And don't make any threats to do any of that stuff to anyone. As long as we do that, we'll be abiding by the non-aggression principle. And they can't do anything to us. we got to be left alone. It's time to stand up, America. Come join us, Washington. Mm -hmm.